At the beginning of Luke's Gospel, we see this extraordinary encounter between two pregnant ladies, Elizabeth and Mary. So as we are in this season of Advent and we're considering what it means that God came as a human being, we remember that God in Jesus was in Mary's womb. He was a, a, a baby inside a womb. And to underscore that point, as Mary comes to meet Elizabeth, John the Baptist, who's in Elizabeth's womb, leaps with joy, recognising this other baby in another womb as somebody awesome. Now, when I was first pregnant, um, my first pregnancy, I had twins. And as I got towards the end of that pregnancy, there were so many knees and elbows and legs and feet moving. I looked like a sort of alien mothership carrying goodness knows what inside. The, it was an extraordinary sight, but undeniably what was within were, was life. And so as we, we think about who Jesus was in the womb, we realise that even there, as a child, he was God with us. And when Elizabeth realizes that her baby, John, is greeting Jesus, she is astonished and she says something really amazing. She calls the baby within her friend Mary's womb, her Lord. She bows in worship to an unborn child. And this, this shows us the magnitude, the wonder of who Jesus is. It, it reveals that an, an adult, an older lady, a woman who's lived her whole life, who's been quite socially conservative, that she is willing to recognise an unborn child as the Lord God with us. So in the build up to Christmas, think about what it means that God was prepared to humble himself so much that he wouldn't just be born, but that he would also be within a womb. He would be a child within a womb for us. The Lord of the heavens, the Lord of creation, that he would take flesh and dwell among us. That's what it really means, that he was born for us.